Whether it is good enough will, as you said, you know, will rest with the health workers themselves. But the elected committees in Unison, in GMB, in the BDA, the CSP, the Royal College of Nursing um, have voted today to recommend the deal as the best that can be achieved through negotiation. So that's an interesting caveat because the, the, what I was going to ask you is, is this, in your view, a good deal or just the best deal that was achievable under the circumstances? I think, well, I mean, it, you always take these things in context, don't you? I mean, it, it would have been better if we'd had this level of investment put in the health service this time last year, because then we wouldn't have faced a situation where so many people left to go and work for better paid and less stressful jobs elsewhere. Um, that said, you know, we've, we've got an increase of 6% of the payable, which is not an insignificant amount of money, and hopefully might go some way to addressing people's cost of living pressures and, you know, help employers retain staff throughout what's going to be a really busy summer. You rightly say this obviously has to go to the memberships who will ultimately decide. But with the memberships looking at this, you know, a 5.2% pay rise, would they rightly be disappointed given that at least one union, the Royal College of Nurses, started off wanting 19%? Quite a lot lower. Well, the joint um, the joint trade unions aimed to get close to inflation. We wanted an inflation busting pay increase. What we've got, if you you know, you're adding consolidated increases from last year with a, a lump sum, which is very very crude maths. But you know, broadly the investment is over 10 percent on the pay bill. Um, which, if, if it had happened at times when people were facing their stiff bills, then you know that would have that would have been uh, considerably more helpful. So it is a it, you know it is a decent sum of money. I have done my level best to give members a credible choice, so health workers can now decide between taking further strike action and picking up an offer. I know that you know me and other trade unions work together. To, uh, to engage with the government and press for as much money as we could, you know, as much additional investment. The lump sum payments that uh, health staff would receive if they were to pick this offer up range from a minimum of £1,600, just over £1,600 at the bottom of the pay scale. Most people at the top of band five, so band five is where most of the registered occupations, so occupational therapists, nurses, physiotherapists, dietitians, where they come in, um, and it would be £2,000 for those people, so a not inconsiderable sum of money. And because we've been able to negotiate now for the pay rise for the following pay year, people would have the security of knowing that was in their pay packets early and applicable from the 1st of April, rather than waiting and crossing their fingers to see what comes out of the pay review body in the summer. Given that there is now an offer on the table, an improved offer, as, and, and for all those reasons you, you outline, and given the disruption that this has, by your union's own admission, calls to the health service, is there now more of a uh, more pressure, more of a moral obligation on staff to accept this and, and go back to work? Well, I'd say the moral obligation was all on the Secretary of State. You know, all, all we said right from the start was that we would rather have had the opportunity to talk rather than take industrial action. You know, all of the, all of the, the, the paramedics, the nurses, the healthcare assistants, the cleaners, the whole team of the NHS who you've spoken to during the course of this dispute... All of them will have told you that they would rather have their unions in rooms negotiate. This has been hard won. Members deserve to have a choice. The public deserves to have a health service that has better investment. So trade unions today are pleased that we have the opportunity to give them that choice.